Hi, I'm Josh Rackless, and you're about to watch a speech I gave on June 5th, 2008 at the retirement party for my modest and distinguished father, Lorne Rackless. Here he is at the party. Anyway, uh, Lorne Rackless is a doctor of education, served in public education in Ontario for 37 years, and this summer retired from his position as director of the Ottawa School Board. All very impressive, but what is he like in his personal life at home? Well, watch this speech and find out. Oh, and uh, in the middle of the speech, the cameraman had to change tapes, so uh, I'm going to fill in the missing part with my webcam. You won't be able to hear the audience laughing during this part, but uh, trust me, they were loving it. So here's the speech for my father. And now for something completely different, and we were hoping to keep it a bit of a surprise. Some of it's come out, but not all of it. It is my pleasure to invite Lauren's son, Josh. He's left. He was here a moment ago. Is he back somewhere else? Oh, there he is. Got you on your way to the washroom. Well, go ahead. We'll wait. Okay. All right. It is my pleasure to invite to invite Lauren's son, Josh, to the podium. Josh. son and I'm here to speak on behalf of the family, uh, my mother Louise and my sisters Diana and Naomi. Uh, Diana said her gift to daddy would be to not speak. And, uh, <laughs> my mom said, yeah, I'd, I'd like to speak, but I'll be too drunk. Uh, so <laughs> it was left to me. Um, I originally suggested to the organizers that I could make a little movie, a uh, funny movie that just showed the party on the screen, and the organizer said, yeah, we won't really have time to show your movie, uh, but your sister is singing, so you could introduce her, uh, which kind of sums up the hierarchy of things in our house as well. Um, to be fair, my plan for the movie was to uh, ask to have the heads of everybody he works with put on Star Trek bodies, and then I would make their voices sound funny, and they would have an adventure with my dad as the captain, and you'd be defeating the budget or something. And, uh, I can see how they wouldn't have time for that. Um, <laughs> but it looks like they stole my idea from one of the pictures, so I want credit for that. Uh, but I figure I should say something while I've got the mic so that uh, my inheritance doesn't go completely to the girls. Um, and I wanted to say something about how great a job he's done as director of the school board. Uh, congratulations on years of success in his career. Uh, but the truth is, I have no idea how he's done at his job. Um, <laughs> I don't sit in on the school board meetings. I don't know what's going on over there. He might be the worst director ever. I don't, I don't know. Um, although he did show me his office today, and it has a little fridge. And uh, he's got a lot of wall space for plaques with pictures of himself on it. Uh, so it looks like he's doing all right. And the fact that you've thrown him, thrown him a great party, that's evidence that he's doing a good job. Then again, it could just be that you don't want him to change his mind and stay. <laughs> We'd love to have you back, but, you know, we threw that party. Uh, and we had a big uh, cutout of you with Superman body and your head on it. We can't, you know, you can't go back now. Um, however, I'm pretty sure he did a good job at work because at home, in the Rackless household, he has demonstrated many traits that would be useful for performing well as director of the school board. Um, so, because you people don't know him at home, these are some things like that. Uh, for instance, he was very fiscally responsible at home. He taught me that one could cut unnecessary expenses on haircuts um, <laughs> by not having hair. Uh, a lesson that I learned very well. Uh, he's a great teacher. Um, I know physical fitness is an important issue today uh, for schools. And uh, my dad has been a very good motivator um, for my mother to get out of bed very early every day to go running. He does this by snoring very loudly so that my mother has to leave the bed and get very far away from the house very quickly. Uh, 
multiculturalism is another important issue for school boards, especially in the nation's capital. Uh, and ever since my sisters and I were, have been children, he has told us all about other races, uh, such people as uh, the Vulcans, <laughs> the Klingons. As a child, I never did meet any of these races in my school, but if I had, I would have been very ready to talk with them about their cultural practices on their planets. Uh, from what I understand about school boards, there are apparently a lot of meetings. He was always going to meetings when we were children. Dad, I made a poo on the floor. Well, that's nice. I have to go to a meeting. Uh, and, and I'm sure my dad was very good at leading these meetings because he was always good at leading our Passover seders. He would take control and he would open the prayer book or Haggadah and he would open it with great drama and he would start to read Baruch Atah Adonai blah 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 <laughs> that's a boring prayer the, the Jews escaped from Egypt we went over that last year uh, Baruch Atah that's redundant okay let's eat uh, well, those were good standards. Good hiring practices are very important at the school board, and my dad showed skill at that by choosing my mom, Louise, for the challenging role of wife and mother in the Rackless household, and by managing to retain her long term without offering any benefits or incentives that I'm aware of. <clears throat> problem solving would be an important part of being a director, and my dad was always solving problems at home. Five down, seven letters, starts with W. We were amazed at how many problems he could solve. Dad, I made a poo on the floor. Not now, I'm solving problems. I'm sure times are often tough for school boards, and I know my dad would be great at morale boosting, because... Whenever we would gather around the family dinner table, he would tell jokes. Very horrible jokes, very unfunny, uh, involving rabbis and doctors' wives and golf courses. I don't know, just the worst jokes you can imagine, which made anything I said sound very funny by comparison, which boosted my morale. My sister Diana would laugh so hard, she would spit milk through her nose. It was a great time. I'd feel great about myself. And, uh, Another good skill for a director, I'm sure, would be taking into consideration the expert opinions of other people. Uh, even though he's got a doctorate in education and has been working in public education for 37 years, I know my dad would not be too proud to ask the opinions of other people, because these days at home he's always asking our opinion. Do you think I'd be a good actor? Would I be good in community theater? Uh, what play should I audition for? I could play a clown. I played a clown in Godrich, do you know that? Uh, are you doing any radio shows that I can co-host? Uh, lots of questions, always asking for advice. And uh, I guess some of his gift for entertaining wore off on his children, because now we are privileged to have his daughter Naomi performing some music in honor of our father's years of service to the world of education.